Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Capricorn, this is going to be a Zodiac love reading for you for the month of October. We're looking at that second week. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what this cat is doing. Um, <clears throat> over here where I'm at, we're starting to get a little chilly in the morning, which is typical for this time of year but I still got the AC on because in the daytime it's still hot as physic so yeah this cat I swear we're, we're, we're just not going to pay attention to him <laughs> we're not paying attention to him he's up doing too much doing the most anyway Let's go ahead. I'm going to do your reading a little bit different, Capricorn. We're going to get your major um, overall energy cards, the ones I always pull. But then we're going to do um, a mutual energy of what's going on in the connection, probably three cards. And then I'll do a spread for you and your person. Kind of like how I do the twin flame readings. All right, let's see what we have here for Capricorn. We have hollow bone teachability. When this card comes out for me, it's always talking about lessons, lessons needing to be learned um, and possibly a test coming up for you. At the bottom of the deck, we have wall obstacle. So is this something that's still blocking you? I feel like there is a test at hand here. Um, Somebody could be coming back into your life to see if you're ready to move forward, to see if this person or this, the, the lesson that this person inspires, are you ready to overcome it? Have you learned it? Um, have you shifted your paradigm? Have you shifted your perspective? This is a test. Of the emergency broadcasting system testing testing <laughs> we have pressure transformation what the hell did i just say did you learn have you changed have you changed have you grown so you're about to be put to the test that's exactly what i'm getting here and then we have lake depth so even though we're not in mercury retrograde anymore um the theme surrounding someone coming back to test you or someone coming in with the same vibration as the person that was that you were meant to learn a lesson from could be resurfacing at this time. This is something that has been long keeping you at bay or keeping you stuck. It's been creating a blockage basically in your life. So the spirit is saying if you're really ready to move forward, Let's see. All right. Let's put a little razz dazzle on here. We got thoughts. Yeah, so maybe there, there's something about your thoughts that has needed to change or the way that you think of something or relationships or someone in particular has changed. Yeah, there's concern here. Huh. All right. Um... Let's do the mermaids for you guys. This, um, yeah. We'll do... I don't know which cards to use. Okay, let's do these for your mutual energy. Let's see what's going on in the partnership and the connection. I'm only going to do three cards. Then I'll do a spread for you versus them. We got Justice and the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. On the split. All right, Spirit, what are the themes surrounding this connection for Capricorn? What do they need to know here? We have the Queen of Pentacles. Something about being a long-term stable partner, loyal, consistent, nurturing, capable, versus the Knight of Wands, huh? That's... And the two of swords coming out 
again, which we saw in the split. So, this could be somebody you're um, married to that's going to be coming back around towards you, bringing you some type of message or concern or worry. Um, this person could be trying to steal your joy. Excuse you, sir. What are you doing? No, we're not walking around up here. I feel like you don't see this coming, Capricorn, but somebody is going to be rushing in towards you. I feel like this is going to create some type of obstacle for you because there's going to be deep emotions uh, shared here. And you're going to really be thinking about this. It could be a very like important situation, an emergency even. But you're going to be under some type of pressure to see if you learned your lesson. <clears throat> this person could really be coming in to test you. We got Ten of Swords in reverse. So it's not even that detrimental. But it's, they might make it sound more serious than it is just to get your attention. All right. Let's do your spread, Capricorn, and we'll look at your person. Am I even going to be able to get six cards down on this one? Maybe I'll just do three. I don't know. I want to do six. A proper spread. All right, let me see. <clears throat> we have the emperor coming out for you. Maybe you already know that this is about to happen. You could have had some type of dream or you could just be anxious about it happening. <clears throat> Two of Cups. There could be another um, relationship that this could be impacting. I'm trying to make some room here. It's not working. Six of Pentacles at the bottom. Seven of Wands. The Devil. <clears throat> and the Hierophant. Wow. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We have the Devil and the Hierophant coming out together. Look. Stop. You're not getting up here. Quit scratching me. So it's like you're trying to stand your ground. You could be protecting another connection here. There's some fear and worry here around receiving some type of message or news that's going to concern you. Somebody, this is happening pretty quickly. So this could definitely be a past person bringing in this information or news. <clears throat> You're going to have a decision to make. And this is back to that theme. The devil is coming in to tempt you. Have you learned the lesson or not? So spirit is saying you're going to need to stand your ground here. Maybe you're the one that's needing to create a wall here to protect another connection. Because somebody's coming toward you <laughs> very quickly and passionately. And you're not going to expect it because the two of swords or you're going to be in two minds about it. There's going to be something this person says that concerns you or makes you think. They might come in saying all the right things you want to hear now. They might. Mm -hmm. They might come in with a tempting offer. It's, it's going to be something that. It's going to have you under pressure. It's going to have you in your mind. Let's see your person side. We have the seven of cups, but it's only they're coming in to create confusion. Probably because they see you moving on. Three of Swords. Yeah, they're heartbroken. Because they know you have options. <clears throat> they want to come in with the Knight of Cups offering an apology here. What was that? Wanting to flip the Magician. Yeah. 
We have death. Obviously, there's been an ending here. This person could be saying they want to apologize for the ending. They, they're coming in to communicate. There's that magician wanting to flip again. If it wants to come out, it wants to come out. I can't stop it. Even if I reshuffle the deck. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the page of wands. So this person could be coming in with good news. But for some reason, it's going to be concerning for you. Like you're going to be concerned about this because it might have you having to make a choice. I feel like that's what the goal of this communication is. Let's do some clarification. This is to manipulate you into accepting an apology. Somebody could be communicating how hurt they are and how much they want this back. I said they could be saying you're the end all be all. I don't know. Spirit is giving you strength here, though, to stand your ground against this devil, against this toxicity, against what you already know, what you've already learned, the lessons that you've already learned here. All right, let's clarify the Hierophant for you. <clears throat> the Eight of Swords is coming out. Yeah, so Spirit is here to let you know that you've already done this round and round before. You've already been in your head about this. You already know that this is, I'm, I would be surprised if the high priestess didn't show up. We have the chariot in reverse. You already know that you've been in a cycle with this person. Show me the devil. Four of wands. There's some type of, um, There could be a marriage here that hasn't quite ended yet with the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands here. Ace of Cups. Somebody could be coming in saying that they want to redo, they want to retry this. Temperance in reverse. Strength in reverse. Sun in reverse. This could be somebody with Leo highly aspected in their chart. Show me the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> we have that Knight of Wands coming in again. Yeah, they're gonna, somebody's going to be doing some fast talking or doing something real fast. And it's to distract you. Someone's saying that they realize something now and they don't want to be single anymore, but that's not the truth. It's not quite the truth. It's half the truth. Show me this two of cups. Why is this here? Queen of Cups. I feel like it's because you're receiving love from somewhere else. You've re you're receiving a new um, soul connection here. Three of Cups. Yeah, you've come together with someone and they feel like they've missed an opportunity here. What is this worry for the Capricorns? Six of Wands. It's like you, I mean, I'm not trying to say that you're trying to hide your new relationship, but maybe you didn't want it. Maybe you were worried about this person seeing you and your new person on social media. Because you felt like you knew that that was going to make them come towards you. Show me this Emperor. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is definitely a new soul contract with someone. Definitely. <sighs> you might even be hesitant, I'm getting, about accepting this new love offer because you're worried about this person coming back. And there's this fear about being or having to abandon a situation or feeling abandoned by this person. It may it may be something really good in long term here. Show me this uh, two of cups, queen of queen of cups. Yeah, we got competition here. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Emperor in reverse. 
there could be someone trying to talk about fighting or getting physical or violent here even. All right, let's clarify your person's side. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? We have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, somebody is trying to manifest this love back. They want, they're manifesting a new opportunity with that love with you. But for me, it's coming more off as manipulation. They want to come back out of the code. And there's the high priestess in reverse on their side. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the um, Five of Cups, which is telling me that they want to change the regret that they feel. They want to change those falling down cups. They want, they're communicating that they want things to be different, that they thought things would be different. This person is coming in as the reverse Queen of Wands. This is somebody who's lacking confidence. Um, could even be lacking resources, motivation. I'm getting like this person done hit rock bottom and they're trying to like come back up. This person could try to um, guilt trip you and like, I don't have nobody else or some shit like that. We've seen the Ten of Swords twice in reverse now. There it is. Spirit is calling for you to not only use your intuition, but use your better judgment here, your discernment. Because this is over. This is ended. Recall and remember why it ended, why it's over. And why it cannot be resurrected. The lesson has been learned already. Somebody's been enlightened with the hangman already. This person over here has not freed themselves from something. All right, show me this Knight of Cups. Four of Swords. Yeah, they're coming to reconcile. This person could be broke. All their options have run out. They have no new opportunities. They're not stable and balanced. This person could be talking about they, they're rebuilding themselves from rock bottom. Show me those three swords. <clears throat> we have the emperor. Yeah, they're heartbroken because you got somebody else. Somebody who's um, actually stepping up to the plate. Somebody who makes you happy. Somebody who compliments you. And this is based off jealousy for sure. Ten of swords in reverse again. Yeah, this person's definitely feeling jealous um, and feeling low self-esteem about themselves. And they want to come to you to have you reduce them up, boost their ego. Um, <clears throat> let's see the Seven of Cups. Why is that here? Queen of Wands, it's, it was in a reverse, but I'm not taking it in reverse. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this person has not did any internal work. They have not reflected internally on themselves. They have not analyzed their behaviors, their patterns, their traumas. This person hasn't done anything. I feel like this person's coming in because they don't have any other choice. You're like their last choice. And they're going to try to use the good thoughts and memories that you have of them or with them to play on your um, heartstrings here. Yeah, this person's going to be coming in telling you that they regret everything. <clears throat> they want your love, but they haven't learned a lesson. Show me the two of swords. We have the star. This is going to be during a healing period for you. You're going to be feeling very good, very abundant. 
it's like something that you really hope for or wish for is going to be coming through so that's going to be your main focus so you might not see this person rushing in when they do yeah we have justice they're come they're rushing in because they think that they want to make things fair they think yeah they're coming back eight of cups in reverse they want to make things right they might be coming back saying they want closure Show me the Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Cups again. They could be saying that you're their everything. You fulfill them in every way. I'm not seeing this being able to resurrect. All right, let's do some <laughs> romance angels for you guys. Yeah, this is concerning because I feel like you're already going to be moving on to something else here. Something more in alignment with you. I feel like this person's coming back to fight for some type of stability that they're lacking over here. Because this is what we see at the bottom of your deck. This is why. <clears throat> All right. Playfulness. They could be coming in playful. Soulmate. Oh my goodness. They could be playing the soulmate card. This could be your soulmate. We have multiple soulmates. Just like we meet multiple people in this life, we've met multiple people in our past lives too. And then pay attention to the red flags understand why this person is coming in there is something about a wedding you could be on the verge of getting married here to someone else when this happens because we look at this we have wedding and then underneath the deck over here we have concern about a marriage somebody sees that you're moving on to a higher level of commitment with somebody else it doesn't necessarily have to be marriage but you could be moving in with this person you could become engaged to this person Somehow this person is able to view you and maybe you found a new soulmate here or somebody you want to spend your life with and this person is not with it. Yeah, this could be the one and they feel it. They definitely feel it. Oh, Lord, I think I found the one. No, you didn't. They coming back to tell you they're the one. <clears throat> I feel like this is coming to you in a time in your life where you're moving past this. You've learned a lesson. But this could create some type of pause for you. Because you might still have a place in your heart for this person. You guys could have shared some type of very strong soul bond together. And it's going to make you wonder if you're making the right decision. Yep, that's what this Nine of Swords is. Spirit said it's up to you though. But this is the life, this is the test. Remember when I first start, it's gonna be at the perfect time. Perfect timing. It's gonna be like when you at the altar and the the I was about to say the hierophant, <laughs> the priest or the official person who's marrying, you be like, if anybody should have any objections as to why these two should be married, I don't even think they do that anymore. Let them speak now or forever hold their peace. This person going to be standing up saying, I have objections. Like, nigga, get the fuck out of here. Compromise, yeah. It's up to you. Compromise. And be assertive about what it is that you really want here. Versus what you've already had. Yeah, you have an opportunity. <clears throat> You have an opportunity for abundance in your life. I don't know. It is going to be up to you, Capricorn. It's going to be a hard choice for some of you. This person is going to be pleading with you to compromise with them. Let's see where the trajectory of this energy is going in October. 
adjustments uh, adjustments are required third quarter moon that's about where we are right now a time for healing so somebody still needs some more healing look like this person a new romantic cycle begins yeah that's what i thought and the energies are gaining momentum waxy moon a win-win outcome is forecast <clears throat> so whatever you decide to do capricorn it's going to be the best thing for you and it's going to work out in your favor yeah everything's falling over let me get you guys a starseed oracle card just one It says portal. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards wild card. Whoa. Some of you guys might really be considering taking this person back. You're part of a team of souls. Call in support. I'm going to leave your reading here. This is what I have for you, Capricorn. Again, if you like this video or if it resonated for you, please hit the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel because that's how we grow. And I will see you guys on the next one.